All right, so in this video, I'm going to solve the equation x to the power of 4 is equal to 1. So to solve this, I, want to I need to find the value of x. So I'm going to subtract 1 on both sides. So I get x to the power of 4 minus 1 is equal to 0. Now from here, I'm going to rewrite this as x to the power of 2 times 2 minus 1 to the power of 2 is equal to 0. And the reason I did this is because now I can use the property a to the power of m times n is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So in this case, x to the power of 2 times 2 is equal to x to the power of 2 to the power of 2. So I have x to the power of 2 to the power of 2 minus 1 to the power of 2 is equal to 0. And now another property I can use is a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, a is x squared and b is 1. So I get x squared plus 1 times x squared minus 1 is equal to 0. Now this gives me two equations. I get x squared plus 1 is equal to 0 and x squared minus 1 equals 0. So let's first solve x squared minus 1 equals 0 because it's more simpler than x squared plus 1 equals 0. To solve this, I'm going to first add 1 on both sides. So I get x squared is equal to 1. And now I'm going to take the square root on both sides. The square root of x squared is x, and I get x equals positive or negative 1. Now for x squared plus 1 equals 0, I'm going to subtract 1 on both sides. So I get x squared is equal to negative 1. I'm going to again take the square root on both sides. But this time, I get x is equal to positive or negative square root of negative 1. Now, if you guys already know, the square root of negative 1 is equal to i. So I get x is equal to positive or negative i. So my four solutions to this problem are x equals 1, x equals negative 1, x equals positive i, and finally, x equals negative i. So please make sure to like the video, subscribe, and please also share this video to your friends if you like it. Thank you. All right. So in this video, I'm going to solve the equation 5 to the power of x is equal to 50. So to solve this, I want to find the value of x. So to do that, I'm going to first start by taking the log on both sides. So I get log of 5 to the power of x is equal to log of 50. Now, if I have something in the form log of a to the power of b, I can move this x1 and b to the front, so this turns into b times log a. In this case, I have log 5 to the power of x, so I can move x to the front. So I get x times log 5 is equal to log 50. Now from here, I'm going to divide both sides by log 5. So then these two cancel out, and I get x is equal to log 50 over log 5. Now I'm going to rewrite this as log of 10 times 5 over log of 5. And if I have something in the form log a times b, this is equal to log a plus log b. So this turns into x is equal to log of 10 plus log of 5. And I have this over log of 5. So now this is equal to log 10 
over log 5 plus log 5 over log 5. So then this turned into 1 plus log 10 over log 5. Now log 10 is equal to 1, so I get x equals 1 plus 1 over log 5. And 1 over log 5 is equal to 1.4306. So I get x equals 1 plus 1.4306, which is 2.4306. So this is my answer.